So in the last video about the Pyrenees expedition, September 2022, I told you about two audios that we recorded at a location where we did found a, a small teepee covered with moss and with a rock inside and two uh, fire pits, fake fire pits, just by the side of this small construction. We tried to do some wood knocks during dusk and in the early hours of, of the night. In the first order we, we did record a response that Ver heard and I didn't, so it was far away. And on the second order we tried again some wood knocks, but they... We didn't add any response, we didn't add anything, but when we arrived home we saw that uh, the recording was not the same as we as had heard at the location. I'm also going to show you a photo taken a few minutes before we did the wood knocks. It was dusk, so we had a few... we had, we had some, some light still. And I managed to take uh, this photo near a big ant colony, very near the place, so near the location where we did the wood knocks that night, and we where we record the audio. And I want to show you that in this photo there is something strange. I managed to spot this bright, uh, a, a bright. Um, spot of light in my photo it, it, oh, it's it's almost like dead pixels but they are not dead pixels and when we zoom and change the the light you start to see something also very odd because it's something that was that adds its own light I see. It's like two dots, two small dots of light. Changing the contrast, the shadows, you can see it, but it. Position, the contrast. Yeah. I guess it could be an orb because it's there's something there's something around these two squares but I'm not sure I have checked other photos if the deads if there was dead dead pixels on the camera on the sensor but no only in this photo these these two squares shown up and I really don't know what it is. It could be an orb. So leave some comments and tell me what you think. Uh, I don't have a second photo or a photo just just earlier than this one to compare. I only took this on this one photo, so it is what it is. So, so guys, this is our first, our first recording, when I knock on the wood first, I knocked about one or two times, and then after a while, you can hear, this is the cell phone, there's a wood knock, just just uh, right next to the cell phone and then uh, I'm gonna you're gonna hear it first one two and this is my wife telling me that she heard the wood knock and that uh, and then I told her that um, it must have been recorded by the audio, so we would cut here the the audio to just to know where it was because I didn't heard anything, but but she heard, 
um, and then and then after this this recording we decided to do another one there's another one have you heard this one this one it's it's one of the typical typical wood knocks it's not a wood knock because it's not on wood and it it was i think it was a knock very near us or near the phone or even on the phone because vera was holding the phone with her hand right next to right next to her leg so she she wasn't touching the phone with with the other hand so there are quite a few eye strangeness uh, sounds and recordings near the phone just right next to her leg and some of the the sounds and some of the knocks are like this one Uh, the other ones, it's my voice. This is the wood knock. Okay. So this is the second audio. Uh, it's a 21 minute audio. What we are seeing, it's the spectrogram. Uh, here I can show you this one is a wood knock i will show you how it sounds a wood knock that i have made on a on a on a cedar right next to the to the small structure okay. this is the sound of one of the phones when it got an sms i think yeah okay so you can see down here this is all the ambient noise very low ambient noise on above 1000 Hertz and some ambient noise below below 200 100 it starts to be in the infrasound range mostly at 50 or 150 Hertz below it's infrasound so if you if you see uh, the co a colorful band below 100 you know there is infrasound involved so after we did this we had this is an owl after we did this we start having a conversation me and, and my wife very low pitch i was i was speaking very very low so i could hear the um, some some wood knocks on the on the mountain or in the forest coming but around minute eight we start getting a very high infrasound and all the evps and you can you can google it but evp uh, you can go Wikipedia. It's an electronic voice phenomenon. It's 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 most people that go ghost hunting, parapsychology, all of that area, loves to speak about the EVPs, even in ufology. But uh, science doesn't attest it as a, a thing, and of course they, they don't tell you that they could be uh vo voices from another dimension some interference from higher beings you never know so around minute eight we start hearing uh these these high uh very high volume infrasound that is is, is it's, it's 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 noticeable if you put the, the original file and you put phones, uh, headphones, 
so you you could hear it so I'm gonna show you guys some some parts of it and some strange uh, some strange things and then I'm gonna give you some minutes of the of the audio the original audio for you guys to hear on on headphones without my commenting um, over okay because it's difficult to give you that type of audio with with and commenting ab above that above that so it, at the end I will share a few minutes of the audio so we are going to see at seven minutes at the seventh minute in this 12 seconds I think I got you can see I'm gonna okay my voice exactly in terms of timbre a voz humana não consegue fazer aquilo oh. some strange sound here starting and remember we are now very uh, near the, the the time the time that um, the infrasound started to appear and we never noticed that infrasound we never felt anything strange it was a calm night the 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 audio it's very different from what we experienced at the place okay. going forward it's Okay. At the uh, mark 745, we're gonna hear the first wood knock and some things that we can say it could be inhaling or exhaling. Remember, we didn't hear anything, not even this wood knock. It was very, it was so close that I think this wood knock was, um, this wood knock was in the, in the phone. So we got an, a, 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 a series of um, EVPs that sounds like uh, someone inhaling or exhaling near the, the, the phone. But remember, like on that photo that I showed you previously, my wife was 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 with the phone on her hand, hanging just near her leg. So whatever was inhaling or exhaling near the microphone had to be just close to her and down to do that. It sounds kind of freaky, but it 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 seems to be that. When you when you when you when you hear the, the the original audio, and we never noticed anything at the field. It was dark, I know, but we were close together, like 50 cent, half a meter, so one foot, one one and a half foot uh, from each other, and I I would I was facing her and she was facing me, so I would see her back and she would see my back. And we never saw anything, we never heard anything besides that wood knock on the first audio a few minutes before. You can see that the infrasound is not there already, but it will start to build right uh, in a few seconds. It will start to build up. And you will you will hear some wood knock, some wood knocks, some knocks very close. So, if the sound started starting to build, continues to build and there will be a very very loud wood knock that we didn't hear about now 
Deixa eu botar no outro e, pau lá em cima. É da é é Neco. Uma coisa assim e, inexplicável. E, e, e que ao mesmo tempo. Segundo essa pessoa do Canadá. There, were, there are lots of wood sticks and inhaling, exhaling just beside us, and we didn't hear anything. Tá. Espetada no topo lá em cima. Uma coisa assim inexplicáveis. E, e que ao mesmo tempo, segundo essa pessoa do Canadá, eles gostam de brincar. E, e percebem perfeitamente que nós não percebemos o que é que se passa. É um fenómeno que nós não percebemos, não temos maneira. A verdade é que há imagens a pegadas, ou seja, é um ser real. Agora se é um ser que é. Someone exhaling near the microphone. I will show you. Just about here. A verdade é que há imagens a pegadas, ou seja, é um ser real. Agora se é um ser que é. I'm gonna show you guys. Remember, we are on the zone, but now leaving the zone of the inf of the of the infrasound. We are here at the ninth minute, ninth mark minute. So from about that, the eleventh or twelfth minute that we are, we we haven't got any infrasound, or at least not equal to that that eight uh, eight mark uh, or between the eight and the ninth mark minute uh, at the end we didn't have any more of these evps on the audio and so it was not a plane it was not a car at a distance if you want my honest opinion when you put the audio and the, the, the headphones on your in your head and you be and you, when you hear the original the only thing that you can imagine it's like a huge spaceship coming above your head and doing a lot of strange metallic sounds uh, and when that thing that we i think is above us then that's when the EVPs go crazy and go and go wild on the on the on the on the audio. I will show it. I will show it some something at the 11th minute mark. That uh, it's very 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 interesting. So it's at the 11 11th 18 around here. I'm gonna zoom. I'm going to show you guys something here. Did you hear it? No, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to play it now again. Going to replay it. And now wait. Did you hear it? Very near the microphone, there was an exhale with something saying like, I don't know what it said. It's not a word. It's just, it's just a tone. The way it sounds, it sounds like something was just behind the the, the the microphone of the of the of the of the cell phone doing this, just 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 close to it. Remember, the the, the, the cell phone was was recording the audio uh, on the side of my wife's leg, so not near our our mouths and not. Um, not recording our voices um, or our inhale and exhales. The bell. The bell. Um, yeah, dear, this is the other one. The 
and I started something very civil, like very with with essence, but it it sounds here. It it shows on the on the it the the, the there's something very good when you when you put it on the spectrogram. You can see the sound. You can see how it how how how, how the how it is the the sonic fingerprint. So you can see that it's not your mind playing tricks. The sound is there. It has a fingerprint, and this is it. So. That's my wild guess that something very odd was taking place. Um, that's a, what a, that's all about that each hiking effect that I was saying on the last on the last video. There was something that we connect on that place that we tried to communicate and something did answer. I really don't know if it was Sasquatch. If it was Sasquatch and his friends, or if it was something else, another an, an alien race, something I don't know. I really don't know. Um, there was no wind, as you can see. I will I will show you again without zoom the range. As you can see, this is this is us walking, walking, walking away. So. It, it does produce a lot of a lot of infrasound or it's not infrasound because it's it's higher but as you can see this area something happened in this mark from the seven and a half minute mark to the to the eleventh something was happening on that place and we didn't know it we didn't feel it we didn't feel we didn't felt anything strange. Uh, so we didn't felt threatened. We didn't felt anything wrong. It was just a calm night with us knocking on wood and and trying to to give to have a response. Later, I did some wood knocking, but. I had I had a response here, but I don't I don't see any any things anything strange around the on the sonic fingerprint of that that part. So, as you can see, the very low of these of this part, the very low end of the of the Earth's range, it's blue, so it's not high energy. Here you can see high energy, just right next to the zero mark, zero hertz above. Till 29, till 30, 50 hertz. It's infrasound. Uh, there are some beings that can hear it, like elephants can reproduce it, like tigers. There are some speculation that uh, Sasquatch uh, can generate infrasound. It could be infrasound generated by them. It could be a spaceship. It could be uh, whatever. You know. I'm just showing you guys what we got, um, and uh, I, I was going to show you the the other knocks that I did, and I didn't have response. I did three three knocks sequential. Yeah, I didn't have I did I didn't have an answer. So I will share to you guys the those few minutes from this infrared infrasound uh, uh, mark, uh, this infrasound uh, period that we had with infrasound and and that's it I hope um, you guys <laughs> Uh, like it say whatever you want to say on the comments give your suggestions uh, it, English as you noticed it's not my it's not my language not my, my first language so I'm from Portugal I do speak Portuguese and it's to me it's difficult to say to you guys what everything that from for from what I felt and from what 
I felt on this with this audio at the place. I try, I try to do my best. I hope I can. I hope it's enough that my best is enough for you guys to to see and see you on next video. Ou seja, ele tem, ele tem gravações em que aparece comunicação. Ou seja, ele sabe já o nome de alguns dos elementos que lhe aparecem. E ele tem gravações em que um desses elementos diz o nome dele. Portanto, é quase como se houvesse. Ele, ele já teve, acho que já deixou o papel e caneta e já fizeram desenhos. Acho que lhe trazem perlindes. Aparecem ah, perlindes. Há montes de gente a falar disso, há montes de gente o que faz em sítios como estes é deixar fruta, a fruta desaparece, ok, tudo bem, pode ser um animal, mas já há um de carro de cheiro. Já tem acontecido, imagina, pôs uma maçã espetada naquele pau, fiz cá no outro dia e a maçã não está lá, sabes onde é que a maçã está? Espetada no outro pau lá em cima. Coisas inexplicáveis que ao mesmo tempo, segundo essa pessoa do Canadá, eles gostam de brincar e, com, e percebem perfeitamente que nós não percebemos o que é que se passa, é um fenómeno que nós não percebemos, não temos maneira e, bom, não sei, a verdade é que há imagens, há pegadas, ou seja, é um ser real. Quase, quase na pele 